Adesanya is an expert at fighting from the outside. He can do this because of his footwork, his ability to circle out of danger, his reflexes, and his rangy build rarely allowing anybody to get into a position where they can land something on him. Being just as big and experienced a kickboxer, Alex was able to go kick for kick with Izzy from the outside, but Adesanya's too difficult to hit out in the open space. Instead, Pereira realized the way to get around all of this was to back Adesanya up against the cage, cut off the octagon, and then let his hands go. We first get a glimpse of this at 45 seconds of the first round as Pereira feints his way forward, cuts off the cage, and with a body kick forces Adesanya against the fence. So while most of his rounds while his opponents are not in a position to attack, Pereira will feint, jab, and kick his way into these positions. It's certainly not a coincidence that he has an instructional about manipulating your opponent with strikes. Now, I really want to stress how much space Pereira covers as he cuts off the cage. There's no wasted movement whatsoever. Compare it with, say, Paulo Costa chasing Adesanya around, and you'll see a night and day difference in their footwork. Once on the cage, Stylebender has a few options. He can try to circle out, risk getting hit, he can wait for Alex to throw something and hope to either defend and circle out or clinch, and finally he can get into a firefight with his back against the wall. Early in the fight, Israel was able to somewhat contend the center and punish Pereira as he came forward. But although a lot was made of Alex getting tired from the grappling, we have to remember that Adesanya is not a grappler either, and that third round took a toll on both fighters. Not to mention Pereira's constant pressure probably didn't help, and by the end of the fourth, we saw a flat-footed Adesanya skirting along the fence, looking to grab onto Pereira in hopes of dissipating the offense. All the while, backing up straight, barely offering anything back, and paying the price for it at the end of that round. And in the fifth, we see more of the same with Pereira jabbing as it cuts off the octagon, painting Adesanya against the cage, and landing a big right hand. After Stylebender trips off the check, Alex, like a true professional, takes full advantage and puts the pressure on him. And at 316 of the fifth round, after fainting a right hand and drawing a reaction, Poatau will let the right hand go again and find a home for it, this time on the chin of the champion. He shakes off a clinch attempt and shows that a sign of the left uppercut, but in an offbeat, shoots the right uppercut instead. Israel's plum clinch once again fails to secure its target, and as he tries to circle out to his right, Adesanya runs into a marvelous leaping left hook all the way from Brazil. Props to his great chin and his even greater heart, but the rest is history. Now the question is, what chance does the former champion have in a rematch? If this was an anime arc, Pereira's saga is going to take everything Adesanya's got. But I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. And until next time, Checkmate MMA signing out. Peace.